What is good guys, we have a hype match between Aim and Ampo for Smog on Snake Draft. So that's gonna be Zard Y plus most likely Bandit Pursuit trapping Weewile on Ampo's side. Gastron uh, is good in this match to deal with the Deancey and with the Zap. Landris has to be a defensive variant. I'm thinking it's potentially Defog on Lando and Defog on Coco because with these two mons you never want rocks on your side. And then rocks on Ferrothorn is what I'm thinking. Uh, Landros has to be leftovers. If it's Rocky Helmet Landros, I mean, I guess it could be Helmet, but then Zygarde can be a huge problem for Ampo's team if he's not leftovers Landros, because then it gets worn down faster. And uh, what is the Z-Move user on Ampo's side? It might be z of Coco, or he might not have a z of user. I assume the Weavile is Bandit. On the aim side, um, the z of user has either the Trend or the Zygarde, is what I'm thinking. Then a Spadef, Tapu Bulu to deal with, um, like, check Ash Greninja, check Alakazam. Uh, Zapdos is most likely a Defog variant just because half his team is affected by Toxic Spikes. Even though he has a DNC, DNC cannot always come in on packs and prevent Toxic Spikes. So I think it's gonna be Defog still. There's a slight chance at 3 attack Roost Zap, but I think Defog makes more sense. Uh, Bulu could be a bulk up variant on this team because opposing Zyga looks like a threat to Ames team. And then it could be Rocks DNC or it could be Rocks Trend. Like, if the is the rocker, then the trend could be an all-out attacking Zemo variant. It doesn't necessarily have to be leftovers on this team. He also has the grassy terrain to heal Heatran back. Like, trend could be um, a taunt 3 attacks variant. It could be a taunt 2 attacks toxic variant. Yeah, we'll have to see. Um, Zadwa is a threat for, for aim. He doesn't really have switch-ins for it because Heatran gets bopped by Focus Blast. Uh, I guess Zygarde can switch in once. DNC cannot switch in that well because it would get bopped by Solar Beam and Focus Pass will also do a lot to DNC. So as soon as you see a U then from turn one from Ampo, Aim switched out. I don't know if Aim predicted him to double into like I don't think I don't know if he went DNC predicting the Zard and went off Ampo not having a U-turn or Volt Switch, or if he scouted for Bra Bandit Brave Bird or something like that, or for Sky Strike. I don't know exactly what was going on here. But yeah, now Ampo is in with the Ferrothorn. We're either gonna see a power whip from Ampo. Or switch back as he does switch out in the coco uh, i assume he uh, wanted to scout for hidden power fire or he predicted um aim to switch out one of the two things either scouted for hp fire or he predicted aim to switch now um i don't think aim wants to let the dnc go down here it might be able to live with t-bolt but it definitely cannot live a gigavolt havoc um i think if you ample here you always u-turn if you go for electric move into the Bulu, that's like annoying and you lose momentum. Uh, especially because you don't know yet if this Bulu has Stone Edge, which means he would not have good switch-ins for Bulu. Because if he goes Lando, Lando can get worn down, which means Zygarde can become a threat. And you don't want to go hard Zard on this uh, until you know if it has Edge. Now, it's kind of a prediction game between Focus Blast and between Solar Beam. I don't think he would ever go for Fire Move. I think he would either go for Focus Blast predicting Tran, or he would go for Solar Beam, which would cover the Zygarde or the Deancey to come out. Um, yeah, Aim is not gonna throw the Bulu out. If he loses the Bulu, he becomes really weak to Coco. So I don't think he can do that. I mean, it's quite obvious that this is like Spadef Bulu, which means he could potentially go for Protect, because it's also obvious that it's Zard Y and not Zardex. But yeah, hmm. I don't think there's a point in protecting, even if he has it. I think we're gonna see a switch into either DNC or Zygarde. It depends on if the D, um, if the Zygarde is a setup set or if it's Bandit Zygarde. If it's a setup set, he might not want to go to it. As he does predict the DNC and go for Solar Beam Ampo with a wild play there. Um, went for Solar Beam, which got him good damage on either DNC or on Zygarde. And now Aim is gonna go Zygarde here to force out the Zard. It's pretty obvious. And Ampo is forced to go into Landris to get the Intimidate off. Now, we will potentially see, if he's banned, he can go for Toxic to put the Landris on a timer. If he's a setup variant, he might want to pull a double switch predicting the Landris, uh, or he might just set up. I don't know, um, this could be Z-Move or Weakness Policy Zygarde, I'm honestly not that sure what type of Zygarde this is just yet. Um, unless Empo has HPIs, he's obviously going to switch here. I don't think he has HPIs on this, on this Zart. So yeah, switching to Lando is gonna come. What do we see here? Do we see a Toxic? Do we see a Dragonance? We see a Dragonance from AIM. So this is kind of bad for Ampo because if it's weakness policy and he HPIs it, it gets a boost to plus to attack. And Earthquake is not gonna do anything because Grassy Terrain is up as he does go for Earthquake doing nothing. So AIM just Dragonances again, which means he, he stays in, which makes me think he's weakness policy because otherwise he wouldn't stay in as... Yup, weakness policy pops off after HPIs weakens this now um this is a really huge problem for ampo because he cannot even revenge this with the weaver unless he gets another intimidate off 
So like, Anpo has to sack something here. Which, he might have to sack the... The Gastrodon or the Ferrothorn. What is more valuable? I mean, Ferrothorn could be good in case the Bulu doesn't have superpower, if the Bulu has like Stone Edge instead of superpower. But I think I already said it, but I think the Bulu might be bulk up to help with opposing Zygarde matchup. Um, but yeah, the next hidden power ice doesn't kill the Zygarde. The Gracitorin was really helpful for aim, that way Earthquake did less from Lando, and that way the Zygarde could get some health back. Damn, dude, Zygarde showing again why it's like so scary to face. But I definitely think he has to sack something as he decides to sack off Gastron. Now he has to come back in with the Intimidate, because if he goes Weavile, he would just die to extreme speed at plus 3. Like, I'm pretty sure, because Weavile has bad defense. So he's gonna HP Ice here, and then um, that doesn't even kill, obviously. And now, since he got that Intimidate off, I think Weavile can probably level E speed at plus 2 barely, and go for Ice Shard. Um, just in case he didn't go for E speed, he went for Arrows there. Um, Empo was forced to go for Ice Shard. Now he's most likely locked into Bandit Ice Shard. Which means we could see the Heatran come out here, and Empo has no Heatran switch-ins. Thing is, um, we all know Aim is not that lucky with ma hitting Madness Storm, so if it's that move on trend, that might be that might be a bit dangerous for Aim here to go for that, because like he always misses that. But yeah, Aim is either gonna go to his own Weavile or he's gonna go to his Heatran. Those are the two plays, the two potential plays. Hmm. If he goes Tran. Uh, Ampo literally has to pick something as long as Magma Storm connects, or like he could also be Z Fire, I guess. Um, obviously, I'm thinking at this point it's probably Z Tran because Zygarde revealed weakness policy. I think Bulu revealed leftovers, and uh, leftovers bulky Bulu makes a lot of sense, obviously, to help with Alakazam, help with Greninja. There's other mons it helps with, but I can't think about them at the moment. Those are the first two mons that come to mind. Yeah, I think you go Heatran here and you get a kill pretty much. Well, unless Madness Storm misses and you don't have Fire Z. Well, it, it might also be Corkscrew Crash to help get rid of Alakazam. Like get, to get rid of Alakazam for a wee while. To, hmm. Corkscrew Crash also helps to get rid of like Lardis that could wall the Bulu. Like it can definitely help with other mons that his team is annoyed by. So Madness Storm does connect. That might be modest because it did 95. I know Coco has bad speed F, but that did 95. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure if Empo was gonna go hard into Zard or if he was gonna sack something right there. But yeah, now Zard has to hit a Focus Blast. Uh, Aim obviously doesn't have a switch in, so he might just stay in Magma Storm. Uh, Magma Storm should do like 35 or 40 ish to the Zard in the Sun. Focus Blast should do, um, since this is an offensive trench, Focus Blast should do like 85 to 90 ish, is my guess. As he does connect Focus Blast, do we see. No Z move, we see Magma Storm, yeah. And he gets a crit. Um, I don't think that crit matters though. Um, this might actually be a roll to kill with Solar Beam, or if Solar Beam guaranteed kills, Ampo can just click it. But yeah, Ampo is obviously gonna run the Kalki because he doesn't want to click Focus Blast again in case. Unless he has to, is what I'm trying to say. Unless he has to click Focus Blast, um, he's just gonna click Solar Beam here. If it kills. Which it should. Since this is an offensive trend, and uh, Solar Beam comes out and picks off the trend now. Uh, Weavile is the only play, I think, yeah. And. I think you always Pursuit, because Pursuit guaranteed kills the Charizard, no matter if it stays in or if it switches out. And you want to get rid of the Zard, because if the Zard comes in on the Bulu again later, it will get a kill guaranteed. So you obviously want to Pursuit this. I mean, the only way Zapdos can um, outspeed Zard is if it's max speed and it's speed tight then I guess. Because I assume it's timid Zard, so now Ferrothon comes out and... I think Ampo has to pull a double here, because the Zapdos is really obvious. And if he lets the Zapdos in for free, he's really... In a really bad spot. Um, this is already looking bad for Empo though, no matter what. Not, not all. Why, why did I say already? Like, well, it's only turn 70, but he's gonna Isaac Crash here. And it's gonna. I don't think Isaac Crash would have awkward the Zapdos. But the thing is, if uh, M if Aim's Zap got low or if it got flinched or crit by the Bandit Weavile, I'm pretty sure that's Bandit, then um, he might have potentially lost to the Ferrothorn. Especially if his Bulu has Stone Edge instead of Super Power. I'm not exactly sure about that. So what's Empo's wincon at this point? He might have to go for a flinchy with Icicle Crash. Um, I think I'm gonna run a card real quick. I assume Aim is just gonna click 
I assume aim is just gonna click knockoff here if it kills. Yeah, knockoff does 56 to 66. So I assume we're just gonna see a knockoff from aim. And Ember goes for Isle Crash, wins the speed tie, and gets a flinch. Hello. <laughs> so he literally got what he needed. And now he has to win another speed tie. And even if he can win another speed tie, he still doesn't win the game guaranteed. Because um, I'm pretty sure Zapdos doesn't die Icicle Crash. Um, I can run the card real quick. But yeah, let's see if AIM can win the speed tie to guaranteed wrap this up, or if Ample wins the speed tie, he might still have a slight chance. Um, I still think it's in AIM's favor though, even if Ample wins the speed tie here. Because um, he also still has to flinch or crit the zap afterwards. Uh, I have the Kalk open now, so we will Icicle Crash. If it's offensive zap, does it dies in one, but if it's bulky zap, I think it does like... Um, I only have offensive in the Kalk, so let me change zap, does spread to bold. So Icicle Crash does 83 to 98 if Zapdos is offensive. Zapdos isn't bold, bold. I don't know why I said offensive. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna have to win a tie, and then he also has to crit off Lynch Zap. And now we have it guaranteed. Now we have it confirmed since I'm running the call. But yeah, he does get the does win the speed tie, and if he if he um, doesn't get a flinch or crit, yeah, I think he still loses. And he always clicks Heat Wave here. You always click Heat Wave uh, because. Just in case Ferrothon comes out on a discharge, and then Ember can get a leech seed on the zap or a knockoff, which can which can potentially put it in icicle crash range. So there's no reason to click discharge. Obviously, you risk missing heat wave, but it's not 90% accurate. So like, you should go for heat wave because if he goes Ferrothon on a discharge, then he lives the next heat wave, and then he can, like I said, leech seed on knockoff, which will probably or potentially put Zap in the range from icicle crash. And yeah, if he stays in Heatwave, will obviously kill the Weavile as long as he hits. So Heatwave is the play here for aim. And yeah, we're gonna see either the Icicle Crash going for Hex or the Hard Feral Thorn banking on aim going for Discharge. Those are the two options. Well, hmm. So you just go Hard Feral. Does he go for Heatwave? Aim makes the correct play, gets a crit. Which that crit didn't matter because he made the correct play since he went for Heatwave. He just. Had to hit with twice. I think Heatwave would have done, I don't know the calc, maybe 70 or 80 to Ferro without a crit. So now at this point, he's asking if Weevil has a stronger ice move. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a stronger ice move. The only reason why he switched out is, like I said, if he got the Ferro in on a discharge, he could have then leech seeded or knocked off. So does he get the flinch or crit? He does not get the crit, does not get the flinch, and aim connects, so aim takes the win. Thank you guys for watching Fire Match. I just wanted to get this up fast. I'll see you with more content later or maybe tomorrow. I have, I'm working on a new upload schedule, so check out my comment, uh, check out the comment that I'm gonna post on this video in the description. I'm gonna have a link to Twitter where I ask you guys when you want me to upload. I give you guys four options there. And yeah, I'm gonna try to upload daily in those times. Um, if there's tournament games sometimes and I haven't uploaded that day earlier, then I will still upload anyway at a different time than my upload schedule is, but I'm gonna try my best to upload in that upload schedule to give you yeah just make it easier for you guys to know when i upload and yeah it's just really cool and i'm a big fan of that so thank you guys for watching and peace out friends